Hello. Okay, let's do um, Trilina, this pattern, okay? Uh, I will show how to make this pretty easy for you. I'll try it. It's a really cool pattern. So what we're going to do is you just start off and we're just going to make a simple circle, okay? So let's get closer and here we go. All you're going to do is you start from the furthest side of the circle and just make a little, like a, like a hook. Kind of, kind of like a hook, but not all the way around. Just a little, you know, like a little, little hook. And then just come down and do the same thing here. And then you do the same thing from this side. And now you got like a little hook. Okay, it doesn't matter really if it's even because it's just going to be cool. And then now you could put this in any kind of a, uh, any one of your tangles. And you just take this little edge here and from here just come down and do, and just keep going until you reach the the end like that okay and then you're gonna turn it and then after you turn it do the same thing just go around but only don't you want to start kind of down here so it looks like it's wrapping around okay and turn it here and then you want to come around like that. Okay, and then do the same thing and go around and down, round and down. Like some of them had three, some of them had four. Whatever, that's because I didn't make them all that even. But see how easy that was? Simple, totally simple. And then what you, what you could do is you could make them even go further if you want. Like you could start. Um, I'm a little bit too close. Let me widen this out just a bit. Okay, so we could start from here if you want and you could add some more. Just do the same process. Go one, two, three, four, and, you can just, and then just turn your paper and then maybe start and do the same thing again. It, you could just use it as a little filler in the middle if you wanted to. We'll turn it around and then maybe go from here to here if you want. You can just kind of put them anywhere really. That's what's so kind of fun about this. Okay. Pretty good, right? Just, you just keep going around. that's it. You just keep going around. This is just a variation of that one. You can also go that way if you want to. Okay. And you can just keep going and going and going. Go in here. There's really no This is just a variation of that, but there you go. And that is, there you go. Hi, okay, let's try this pattern, the Fandango pattern, okay? I haven't practiced it yet, so we're just gonna try it here. So uh, the first thing you do is you make it like a little step. So you're gonna go up, all right? And then we're gonna come across it's like a little step. Come up and then we're going to go across. Then we're going to go up. Then we're going to go across. And then we're going to go up and across. Up and across. Makes it pretty easy, right? All right. Okay, so we're gonna do this pattern here called Fandango. Okay, now I haven't practiced it before, 
So let's just give it a try. So the first thing you got to do is you got to make it like a little step. So you're going to come up like a step, right? Just like that. Then go across. Then we're going to come up. Then we're going to go across. We're going to go up again and across. Up again and across. Up again and across. Just like a little, like little steps. All right. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little line about there, right? Just a nice little line, right about like that. Just to give you an, a a little, little like where you're going to put your little foot to walk up. Now we have to double this little step. So let's go up here and just kind of keep it even, you know, the spacing a little bit even. Just come up and go across and then come up and then go across. I just turned the paper to kind of make it a little bit more comfortable for me. I'm right handed. So I just turn it, okay, there we go, easy enough, right? That was easy enough. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come up and then we're going to go around like this, watch, and we're going to go underneath, so well watch, just watch, you're going to come over here and then go over and then over, kind of like a little, kind of like a little S, like a little snake. Just remember it like a little snake. And we're going to do the same thing here. You're going to come over and over, just like that. So it looks like that this is this is running running through. And you just follow, follow that little pattern and come up. See? It looks like you've got a little chain right inside there. And then what makes it look a little bit better is if you make it a little bit thicker. Now you could use a little bit of a, a, a bigger uh, liner for this if you wanted to, just to make it easier. But I just am using this one. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I just turn the paper a little bit, okay? Just turn it a little, and then right where these lines go, um, just make a, right in the middle there, just kind of come up, and then come down, and about the same height or so. So I'm just keeping it right at about the same height. And come up, and then come down and then come up okay and then well that one didn't have one but we'll just do it like that okay and then this one too this one came down like that. all right then what we do is you want to make like a little um two branches that that come out of that like uh, not branches but yeah like branches and um we want to keep it like a little kind of like a little miniature miniature flower just like this see just like a little flower okay just like that and we're gonna do the same one over here and we're gonna go from here to here and from here to here okay and here to here and voila then just turn it over and then we'll do the same thing like that and then we'll just come up and we'll go like that this one's easy see they're all easy you just gotta practice them like that all right now what we're gonna do is we're going to make like a little flower so we're just kind of come around from the bottom and come around to that one Come around to that one, right? And you got a little flower. And then we're going to come back down to that one. And then up and around and around and down. And then up and around and around and down. And up and around and around and down. Up 
up and around and around and down. See? That's probably why it's called Fandango. See? It's got little fans. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're going to go up and around, up and around, up and around, and down. And up and around, up and around, up and around, down. Around, up and around, up and around, and down. Up and around, up and around, up and around, and down. See that? Isn't that pretty? That was a really cute little one, isn't it? It's just really simple and easy to do. I didn't even really even do it perfect. Um, and another thing you could do if you want to do a little bit of embellishing, you can kind of come up on here if you want on these. Just like as if they were leaves and just give them a little bit of a stem in the middle. All right? It gives it a little bit more of a embellishment like I just did there. Uh, you can um, you can make little circles like this on them all around the edges. Those are always good. And just make little circles all the way around them. Simple, simple. And voila! And you could just put it that way, put it that way, whatever you want to put it, however, however you're gonna put it. But so that was just a little uh fandango for ya. Okay, let's do fandango. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is I turn my paper around so that it's always just easy for me to um you know get the lines right so we're gonna make like a little step so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up like this okay and we're gonna just go across and you just kind of keep them right about the same height you know this is this is a really pretty one if you wanna put it in some of your designs Okay, so we just go up. That was pretty easy, right? Now let's just double that. So we're just going to make it about, you know, so wide. And then just go right across. Like this. Okay. There we go. And... And come up, go across, and then we come up, okay? See? So far so good, right? That was easy. Okay, now what we got to do on this part is we want to um, make like a little S, like a little snake. So make a little, like a little step right here, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to come from over here and come around and over just like that and we're gonna come over here and go up and over right let's put like kind of like a little chain inside here right okay there you go see pretty simple then what we want to do is if we want um, you could use a bigger pen for this middle part if you want to but if you don't have a bigger pen you could just go over it like this to make the middle a little bit darker than the rest of the piece so just but if you have a bigger pen when you do it then you don't have to go over it okay so pretty simple right so far isn't that simple now just turn it turn it a little bit sideways like this and right from this this point here 
like right where these little triangles are, just make some lines. And these are where your little fans are going to go. Okay, so you just kind of, I'm keeping them right about that same height. And like this one should probably be about that same height too. And just make them about the same. Okay, and then you go up the same way. See? Very simple. Now, we're going to make like a little, like a V in here, like little, and you want to come up to about like that, and you want to make it just like that, like a little, like a V, like a little tree, because this is what's going to make, this is what's going to make your fan. So you want to come over there and across, and kind of keep it, like if you know that this one's this high, then you make that one about the same height. And you come up, and then the same way here. And then the same way across. Then just turn your paper over like this and do the same thing. And we're going to make it like that. Okay. And like this. And we're going to come down and around. And down and around. See, like that one's a little bit higher, but that's okay. Cause now, what we're going to do is we're just going to make the little fans. So you come right from this part here and connect to each one of these little lines that we made. And this one can go down, and then from here, kind of come up, and around, and around. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm really sorry. Someone's loading up some drinks in the refrigerator and made, it, made that noise. I'm sorry. So we're gonna come around, and we're going to come around, okay? See? So they're just like a little fan. And you come down. And we're going to come around like this. Around like this. And run around and down. And just the same thing. And just coming around down and like I say see because if, if they're not exactly even then that's okay you just meet it meet up to wherever it is this one I'm just gonna go like that just just to give it a little ending okay and now that's that pretty easy right now what we want to do is you could decorate it up if you'd like okay with your with your shading and the way you do that is just take your little um, uh, charcoal pencil. This is what I'm using is a little charcoal pencil. And I'm just going to go right along the edge here with the charcoal pencil. It really gives it, it makes a big difference when you put the shading in. So we're just going to add some shading right in here. Okay. And just add some shading. Okay, then take your handy dandy little blender and just kind of push it, push it down in like to give it like a little leaf shading at the tip. See? See? Just like that. Come in. Let's push it in a little bit. Really makes it look uh, finished, you know. Kind of really pretty. It's very elegant, actually. This would be a good border for like an invitation or something like that. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just do the same thing on this side. We want to uh, come around on there and maybe we should we should add this. Maybe I'll, when I make these, if you want me to, I 
we can incorporate it in something, you know, like oh, maybe make a design for you. But right on, on these ones that I'm going to do when I just do these little patterns, I'll just do the single patterns because that's the best way to learn them is just each, you know, one thing at a time. Because if I put everything all together into one drawing, then it's a little confusing. So the good idea is just to kind of learn these first and just make a little journal for yourself of all the different little patterns. See? Just like that. Eh, does that look pretty? And then you can do the inside as well. Um, the insides just make a little, just kind of make a little triangle just so you can get the shading in there and then just do the same thing just bring it down you can even come down a little bit more if you want to like this and just but the shading is really making the big difference isn't it? Without the shading, it just looks naked. Got a, little, got a little goop on there. And there you go. So let's come out. That look pretty? That was easy to do, huh? See? Wasn't that hard? Now you can add this to your arsenal of really cool things to do on your little drawings. Okay, there you go. Like and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.